Hi, this is Jiang from Incheon, Korea, doing 100 videos in 72 hours challenge. Okay, I feel like I have to do it fast, short, fast, many, <laughs> to get the the daily video uh, quantity met. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what? Um, yeah, so I was talking about my nature connection, right? Uh, that brings me up this topic. Um, my, I told you my sister, my two sisters, they went to kindergarten. But like, uh, you know, I found out recently they were not happy. I thought, I, you know, I told you that I felt like I didn't go to kindergarten and I'm the one who didn't get the benefit, right? But like, uh, this Thanksgiving time, I had a chance to talk with my uh, younger sister and she told me that like she took, she went to kindergarten at my grandparents, you know, that countryside, uh, away from my mom and all our family, right? And she said, she said, she cried every day, <laughs> every day, every single day. Um, maybe she was very lonely, right? Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought. I thought like they all went to kindergarten and happy and all that stuff, right? <laughs> but when I heard that, I felt like so sad or so feeling something, you know, for her. Um, and, you know, she said, oh my god, she's so, you know, oh, even when she was, I don't know, like 10 years old or 12 years old, when she was young, she was uh, imagining suicide, even that, that early age, right? That's like fucked up, right? <laughs> And also I found out from her, my elder sister, she's uh, now um, a high school English teacher and she has her baby too, but she's very like obsessed about her baby, like her son and a little bit crazy I feel like, uh, you know that some kind of, sometimes the kind of uh, mom who send the kids to everywhere, like uh, he's like that son is like maybe at four or five years old, very young. Uh, son, but he goes to all kinds of academy already in Korea. That's kind of normal. You, know, you have a good job. You are in the good, you know, like financial situation. Uh, usually, like Korean couple, they only have a uh, one baby, and they give all. They give all kinds of education because they know how competitive Korea can be. So they want their kids to have a best education best you know thing possible so anyway my my elder sister, sister is like that a little bit a little bit crazy <laughs> i think <laughs> too much maybe so the baby is smart and like uh, reading and mathematics and all that stuff but somehow a little bit something but anyway i heard like my elder sister was also something wrong <laughs> something something happened you know because of her that uh living away from the family and staying in that uh my grandmother's house when she was very young for going to the kindergarten because my mom had to work and didn't have uh, resources to keep all the kids or send the daycare or something so yeah that was good solution for her i guess so so but anyway that traumatized her i guess i didn't know that until recently right so they have all those uh all those um thing happened i didn't know so i feel like oh my god you know i thought i'm like this and i thought i didn't get this and they they were not happy because they were away from the parents um yeah or, or yeah this kind of maybe our family like with a not so uh, abundant financial background and had to a little bit separate away you know that certain period of our childhood time and the the babies are like traumatized i guess right a little bit <laughs> so anyway so the the my conclusion was we all think I'm the only one who had a hard time, who had a trauma, who had a hardship or upbringing or something. But when you like uh, open up everyone, it seems like everyone has that feeling anyway. So 
And also, why why I say this is I went to a um, workshop uh, in Colorado, and the first day we went to hiking and we were having some kind of circle uh, circle of friends and sharing was holding us back, and everybody had a everybody has a like you know hard time hardships and family something and divorced family and separated parents and all this you know childhood thing a childhood you know thing is the major right so i just realized everybody has that right so i feel like i thought my life was very whatever and hard and traumas and all this thing and then when you hear other people's story you understand maybe your life was not as bad maybe it's bad not bad but it's uh, hard for you everybody has their own you know that uh, feeling but anyway at the end i feel like other people also have going through those kind of uh, thing yeah like maybe this is called life this is called a human being right so now after knowing all these facts about other people around me and my own sisters and i realized yeah just now okay that happened and it was hard and that was trauma whatever and what's the point to hold those back and still like living the life with the pain and um pain and that kind of memory right i feel like it's more useful uh it's more useful to let it go and just move forward with the life now right and enjoy now from now on right so that was my conclusion yeah so sometimes maybe it can be it can be hard sometimes like they say you cannot solve the problem with the same mind that you created you know that kind of thing right so i understand that so i use some uh, useful techniques to release my emotional you know negative emotions and traumas it's called nlt or eft nlp neuro linguistic programming or emotional freedom technique and i use the uh, um, neuro linguistic uh, tapping that is uh, NLP plus EFT it was really effective so I recommend that kind of therapy it's really fast because it's going through your subconscious mind not the conscious mind so it can like clean up or help those kind of releasing those kind of traumas or emotional things or phobias and even one session even a few sessions is gone so anyway I recommend like using different kinds of uh, things if you have a hard time to let go but also it can be only a choice away decision away it can be if you really really want to move forward with your life and enjoy your life now then you just choose that and just for for forgive or let it go and move forward with your life yeah so you know I didn't have this kind of a uh, happy um, up, upbeat, uh, this kind of energy until I realized that and I release all those things. Yeah, it's really important to release your negative, uh, uh, negative uh, emotions and traumas and do forgiveness thing if you have something. I had uh, something, you know, yeah, I had an uh, incest, you know, uh, incident one time in my life and i couldn't talk about that to anyone and that was really like giving me very low vibration and shame and guilt and that kind of feeling and just recently at the colorado i met a healer and she did a gift she gifted me her um gift you know her healing you know uh, so she did a body work on me and i released that and let it go so since then i don't have anything anymore only thing left is like now you know discipline myself to work on my business and take massive action so yeah i feel like you need to release those things that's holding you back and then discipline yourself for your goals and dreams and make your life amazing you know uh, create your life amazing you know i feel like I feel like why not you know we are living here 
what we are here why not live a best life right the best of the life the life passionate um, to the fullest happy and free you can do anything there's a resources and knowledge and wisdom and everything is there you just need to be open-minded and and choose choose that and know that you can you can live your any you can do anything you can have anything you can be anyone you choose to be yeah so I want to say that to you yeah <laughs> it's long video again okay this is happy Jiang doing 100 videos in 72 hours challenge from Subong Mountain Park in Incheon, Korea. Signing off. Thank you. <laughs>